Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start the video. Friends, please watch uh, till the end because if you skip the video, you may miss some valuable content and also if I change any answer in between, uh, you can note that only when you watch uh, till the end. So please watch full video. And friends, I hope the solutions are 100% correct. But uh, if you feel that there should be any change, please comment in the comment section. So uh, we can discuss and give the best final answer. So before the submission day, once again check the comment section. So if there is any update, I will update here. And moving on to the this video, uh, it is about week 4 assignment of blockchain and its application course. So let's see the first question. We can achieve consensus with a single crash failure in a perfect asynchronous network. This scenario is. So for first question, the answer could be option B, impossible. There is also impossible theory. So by going with that, the answer will be option B, impossible. And moving on to the second question. What are the examples, which are the examples of a double spending attack? What is double spending? First of all, suppose A has 10 rupees. Then A sends to B and also C. But he sends total 10 rupees to B at the same time 10, total 10 rupees to C. Actually, when you have the physical form of cash, it is not possible. But in digital, uh, in digital form, it can be possible. The A having only 10, but he is ten, sending one 10 to B and other 10 to C. It is not possible. But uh, it is a fault and it can be possible through digital form. So it is called double spending, double spending. So let's see the examples by this concept. Anvesha has total of 60, 60 unspent bitcoins from two different transactions. It means equal amount. So they gave equal amount of bitcoins each. So there are two transactions combinedly 60 and to equal means uh, 30 30 and she sends the entire amount to Arpita and Dampur from one of the transactions so entire transaction he spends equal amount again it means 30 30 to Arpita and Ankur so it, it could be the possible case of double spending so A could be the one answer and the other answer could be option C, I think, because 140 bitcoins and he sends the entire amount to each of Deepak and Tanmay. Deepak and Tanmay, entire amount, that means 140 and also 140. So it is also the possible answer. I am not sure about a B because here they are saying that the bitcoins are transferred from the wallet. So, it, uh, double spending may not happen. So, I am not sure about B. But I think A and C would be the possible answers. So, mark option A and option C. And moving on to third question. What is the correct order of adding a new block to a blockchain? So, for this question, the probable answer is actually first we perform trans, uh, mean when we adding it, when we add a new block it is first performed that is transaction flooding it should be the first one and next block mining should be started and next block flooding and finally block propagation so the answer is option d so mark option d as correct answer for third question and moving on to double spending is reusing digital assets intentionally or inadvertently 
true or false they are asking this whether the statement is correct or wrong so for fourth question the answer is true so mark option a and moving on to fifth question in the blockchain cryptography ensures the authenticity of a transaction and also helps prevent double spend is the above statement true or false so for fifth question the probable uh, the exact answer is option a true and next question that is sixth one what are the bitcoin exchanges available in india so for sixth question the answer is option d 1 2 and 3 that means buyu coin zepay and wazirx three are correct only so option d is the correct answer and moving on to seventh question the primary difference between the permissionless and permission blockchain is so i think the answer could be option a access control for the participant in the blockchain network so mark option a friends i hope these are the correct answers but if you suggest any correction uh, feel free to ask in the comment section so we'll try to discuss and give the best solutions for the viewers and also before the submission time once again check the comment section if i updated any answer or not i hope maximum are correct answers only moving on to eighth question what is an advantage of permissionless blockchain so the advantage is it is open to everyone in the world without permission and licensing requirements so mark option c as correct answer for eighth question moving on to the ninth one after a hard fork the emerging two chains are incompatible so for this statement the answer is option a true so a is the correct answer for ninth question option a is correct moving on to the final question of this assessment that is 10th question bitcoin protocol runs over so we know that it runs over only one so mark option c as correct answer for 10th question so friends these are the solutions for week 4 blockchain and its application assignment hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and also share this to your friends so if you want to uh, suggest any changes please comment in the comment section and if you have any doubts please ask me so for further more videos like this please keep supporting our channel until then goodbye thank you